नमस्ते आई एम आनंद नरसिम्हन एंड यू आर ऑन द नेशन एट फाइव कमिंग टू लाइव फ्रॉम द सी एन न्यूज एटीन न्यूज रूम लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन दिस इज अंबर दैट वी नीड टू स्टार्ट लुकिंग डाउन एंड वी आर काउंटिंग डाउन नाइनटी नाइन क्रोर फिफ्टी टू लैक्स सिक्सटी थ्री थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड एंड दिस नंबर इज गोइंग अप एट हंड्रेड एंड बाय द टाइम आई कंप्लीट द सेंटेंस एंड चेंज द पेज इज गोइंग टू बिकम सिक्सटी फोर थाउजेंड दैट्स वॉट वी नीड टू बी प्राउड ऑफ दैट वी आर इंचिंग क्लोजर टू दैट मैजिक नंबर ऑफ हंड्रेड क्रोर एवरीबडी थॉट दिस इज इम्पॉसिबल बट वी हैव टोल्ड द वर्ल्ड दैट इम्पॉसिबल इज पॉसिबल वेन भारत पुट्स इट माइंड एंड हार्ड टू इट सो दिस इज वॉट इज द काउंट डाउन टू लेस दैन फिफ्टी लैक वैक्सीन टू बी एडमिनिस्टर्ड फोर्टी सेवन लैक थर्टी फोर थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड नाउ फाइव हंड्रेड ऑड वैक्सीन्स विच इज विच आर नाउ लेफ्ट टू बी एडमिनिस्टर्ड अक्रॉस द कंट्री फॉर अस टू क्रॉस दैट नंबर ऑफ हंड्रेड करोर इट कूड हैपन लेटर टू नाइट और अर्ली टू मोरो मॉर्निंग but we as a nation need to celebrate this there were there are nations who have not been able to administer 50 lakh vaccines we have gone ahead and we are counting down and saying oh only 47 lakh left we'll be able to do this is the last mile and we will cover that last mile in the next 12 to 40 uh, 12 to 12 to uh, 15 hours that's what we are confident about as a nation and i'm sure all of us will feel very very proud of what we've been able to achieve like i said 99 crore 52 lakh Now it is sixty-seven thousand seven hundred already, and by the time I wind this up, it's going to become sixty-eight thousand. What a proud moment for us to feel as we look at that number. These numbers are magical numbers, and we are going to hit that magical hundred crore number here at CNN News 18. We'll keep close tabs, and we'll continue to keep visiting this through the course of this edition of the Nation at Five. For the moment, moving on to news just coming through. And. Uh, the person whose face is masked is sirajuddin hakani and this is uh, a cnn news 18 exclusive cuts here investigations editor manoj gupta where taliban's crime syndicate have met and hakanis were actually felicitating families of fidaeen families of suicide bombers were felicitated in kabul in the event in the Inter intercontinental hotel in kabul sirajuddin hakani the interior minister of afghanistan the sargana of the hakani network were felicitated families of suicide bombers he told families that they are the backbone of the afghan government he has also announced a grant of 10000 afghani rupee uh, afghani currency and one plot to all the families almost 200 families had attended the event so this is the interior minister of afghanistan felicitating the families of the fidaeen these pictures have been released and uh, are out but the person whose face is masked is sirajuddin hakani patikrit pain with us patikrit what do we make of this is this not open celebration of terror and terrorism Oh, absolutely, Anand. And the credit for this goes to the United States of America and all those allies of United States of America who actually, uh, you know, try to put this fake narrative that the Taliban are now a reformed lot and they are completely changed and that they have shunned the path of terrorism. So it was handed over. The entire Afghanistan was handed over to them. This is what is happening in Afghanistan. Is probably a prelude to the or the, perhaps the shape of the things to come for the whole of South Asia. and also for the western countries who for the time being have perhaps under the presumption that it will never happen in in united states again what happened in 2001 and this also shows the level of strangle hold that pakistan has on afghanistan and these are the suicide bombers perhaps many of whom have killed the american soldiers as well and then the american deep state the american establishment actually made sure that they are given the country handed over the country and so that they can run it can you imagine what would happen or is it is it that they are just going to restrict themselves to the to the afghanistan absolutely not today mm. afghanistan under taliban and especially the hakani network is like an incubation center who would now be exporting this suicide bombers encouraged and emboldened far more by what has happened in afghanistan and the incentives they have been given and these you know terrorists will be exported to isis to perhaps the lashkar e taiba and then the next generation of fida attacks will happen elsewhere and perhaps in india also that will be attempted so we are in a very very deep crisis and it is all the more important to put more pressure on pakistan for what they have done unfortunately the western countries united nations specifically have not done anything for pakistan for what they have done they openly said that they have used the american money to defeat the americans and put the taliban in place this is not going to end here 
it is only a you know harbinger of the shape of things to come and we have to be very very careful we might have abrogated article 370 we might have integrated jammu and kashmir but it does not mean that the terrorism is going to get no, over no this is also interpretation now point is that what the world has called terrorism and the what the world has uh, uh, recognized as terrorism from their uh, narrative they believe that this was a fight this was this was welcome this was something which needs to be celebrated so how do we take an assurance that comes from a from a, an afghanistan and and from the taliban that afghanistan will not become the hotbed for terror and uh, and the breeding ground for terror for the world anand we should never take anything that is coming from afghanistan for granted their words have absolutely no value not doesn't even have a face value and we have to understand that the the presumption that the west has that it will never happen again in the west is completely a wrong thing what is happening over there these terror organizations whether it's a boko haram or an isis or a taliban or a haqqani network or a lashkar e taiba at the core they are all same so it doesn't take much for these terror you know modules or the uh, suicide bombers to shift from one to another and to do the terrorism right. so whatever the americans say unfortunately i don't give much value to the americans the only thing the americans will say is that okay now you have a threat take more weapon systems from us And apart from the business aspect nothing is something going to you know happen or nothing will be done by the west of the united nations we have to fight our war and we have to make sure that apart from modernizing the you know military our counter terror great our counter terror architecture the the ability of the police forces as well and not just the military is upgraded because it does not mean that we are safe simply because we are doing better today because we are like a Absol you know an oasis in a, amid the notion of terrorism so at a time then we are putting out patikrit stay with us on the phone line because at a time that we are putting out these pictures of sirajuddin hakani the interior minister of this uh, taliban regime in afghanistan is felicitating the families of suicide bombers and uh, celebrating them over 200 families have been given money and a plot of land there is another meeting that has concluded in moscow where 10 nations were present and the deputy prime minister the acting deputy prime minister of the islamic emirate of afghanistan abdul salam hanafi has turned around and said that afghanistan is currently stable this is the third moscow meet china and pakistan have openly endorsed the taliban led government and also backed this takeover russia has maintained a certain level of diplomatic ambiguity US was not present in this meeting but one of the promises or one of the assurances that has come forth is that Afghanistan will not be used as a terror base or a hotbed for terror and nations do not need to be worried of terror outfits operating out of Afghanistan soil but this is happening just at the time when we are putting these pictures so can we really take these assurances at face value that that is something that we will have to uh, look at how does india view this because india is part of this meeting there is a felicitation uh, uh, or or a facilitation of this entire meeting that was done by the russians let's go across to our foreign affairs editor maha sadiqi maha what is india's view on this and will taliban uh, abdul Sa abdul uh, hanafi abdul salam hanafi's assurance actually hold any water hmm Uh, so he is expecting that there is recognition that is given to the afghanistan government the taliban government in afghanistan but uh, you are putting out pictures uh, that uh, speak volumes about uh, what this government is all about and uh, the fact that it is not even inclusive which was the promise that was made by the taliban before having formed the government and this was an expectation uh, by the uh, UN unsc as well in its uh, resolution when india was holding the presidency it was very very clearly and categorically mentioned that uh, the government should be inclusive uh, which ha should have representation of women uh, the minority ethnic groups as well none of that has happened it is largely a taliban government uh, where we have seen proscribed terrorists holding some of the top positions there under these circumstances uh, the question about india attending that moscow format meeting today certainly becomes important uh, uh, anand mm. at this juncture india has very little options because afghanistan is in, in india's neighborhood india has to in some capacity uh, keep the dialogue or the channels of communication open uh, with uh, even the taliban which india has uh, so far clearly and categorically uh, said that uh, you know it, mm. it in the past india did not want to engage with them and neither did it recognize them between 1960 2002 because uh, 
it was uh, an extremist organization that is something right. that india had firmly held the view but today the circumstances have changed they are in the in afghanistan is in the neighborhood india uh, has seen the response of the other countries whether it's the west or the neighboring countries uh, when they are all uh, you know in some sense uh, uh, having the dialogue keeping their channels open right. it becomes very for india to take a very different position and that is why india is present at the joint secretary level over there but uh, the approach certainly would be calibrated today even in the moscow format anand 10 countries representatives are there a joint statement will be issued so certainly all the countries and the apprehensions with regards to taliban will be factored in right thank you for your inputs maha quick comment with patikrit pain before we move ahead uh, move on to what is a big big agenda setting news break and a mega exclusive here at cnn news 18 but patikrit coming back to this meeting and uh, what india's position is india has underlined that uh, we want direct access for any and every humanitarian aid we want unhindered access to our projects uh, there are certain assurances that terror uh, that will directly affect india will not emanate from afghanistan soil but we already see the impact happening there are certain aspects even though there is a tussle going on between afghanistan the taliban and pakistan establishment with air space tariff etc but there is clear movement of uh, jihadis from afghanistan into pakistan the arms ammunition and that flow coming into jammu and kashmir Oh yes, Anand. And so, what is important for India to understand is that even when we give the humanitarian aid, it has to be given through some international organization or by the Indian authorities themselves. Because if you hand it over to the Taliban, there is a strong question mark as to how much of it will actually reach the common people of Afghanistan and how much of it will be absorbed by the Taliban itself, because they are not even in a position to pay salaries to their own, uh, you know, cadres. And second point. you know it's very important to understand even though there is a tussle going on between the afghan taliban and the pakistan based haqqani network it it you know at the right. core they all remain same these organizations are not going to deviate from the path of jihad they are not going to get into development of uh, afghanistan even if they deviate then the their cadre will move to some other organization like the isis so they cannot deviate from the path for what they have been telling to their cadres for a long time that you have to do jihad and bring a caliphate across the world last but the right. not not the least that the taliban government today have understood how to actually fool the world with the right kind of statement and narrative so we have to make sure that we don't fall for what the statements they make and because even today right. itself a, a female volleyball uh, player was beheaded in afghanistan that shows what they are doing and to under to presume that it will not spread uh, it's like a virus it's going to spread and it so so we have to be very careful back channel communication can be continued we have back channel communication with hostess takers takers also but we cannot recognize them we cannot have an official dialogue unofficial communication to make sure that they are kept on the tenter hook they are given an alarm that if right. true then there will be consequence we, we will have to happen, as a nation do happen. what it takes to ensure that our security our integrity our sovereignty remain protected thank you for your inputs patikrit pain moving on to what is a uh, an agenda setting news break here at cnn news 18 a conversation with a leader who's felt slighted who's moved out of the congress party and he said he's still a force to reckon with he's not hanging up his boots yet and that is captain amrinder singh zaka jacob having this conversation every line a headline here are a few excerpts आपने एक एक बॉम्बशेल अनाउंसमेंट अभी हाल ही में किया है कि आप एक रीजनल पार्टी शुरू करने का उम्मीद है आपका और यू आल्सो वुड लाइक टू टाई अप विद सम स्मॉलर पार्टीज What was the motivation? Your thinking, what was it? Congress decided that they want uh, younger profile people. They wanted their own idea. So they decided that I must go. So I, I, I left the party, and I don't think I'm in a, in a position to make any decision. I'm not in a position to make any decision. I'm not in a position to make any decision. I'm not in a position to make any decision. I'm not in a position to make any decision. I'm not in a position to make any decision. I'm not in a position to make any decision. I'm not in a position to make any decision. और मैं अपने पंजाब के लिए जो करना चाहता हूं मैं करना चाहता हूं मैंने आपको जानता हूं ये नौवीं इलेक्शन हो गई दो बार असेंबली पार्लियामेंट से और तीन सात बार उससे और मैं इधर कभी भी नहीं खुश रहा मैं हर अपने स्टेट को वापस जाता था तो मैं ये फैसला किया कि घर नहीं बैठूंगा फिर और तरीका क्या है और तब किसी को ज्वाइन कर लो या अपनी बना लो तो मैंने सोचा कि अपनी पार्टी बना के नॉन पार्टीज के साथ सीट एडजस्टमेंट करके हम इलेक्शन लड़ेंगे आई डो नॉट नो वाई देव डन इट दैट इज दैट इज ऑफकोर्स आई नव क्वेश्चन इट जब उस सुबह द लेजिस्लेटर सी एल पी जिसका मैं चेयरमैन था और प्रेजिडेंट था एज चीफ मिनिस्टर मेरी ड्यूटी बनती थी 
کہ مجھے کہہ دیتے کہ ہم نے سی ایل پی کی میٹنگ بلانی ہے وہ بلا لیتا تو مجھے کسی نے بنایا نہیں بتایا نہیں دلی سے ٹیلی فون ہر ایم ایل اے کو کہہ دیا کہ پانچ بجے ایم ایل اے میٹنگ ہے میں تو صبح کے ٹائم بیٹھا اخبار پڑھ رہا تھا کسی نے کہا جی کیا میٹنگ کس نے بارے ہے میں نے کہا کون سی میٹنگ کہتے سی ایل پی ہو رہی ہے پانچ بجے میں کہا کیوں کہتے پتا نہیں جی ایوری ون ایز ریسیو کال دیٹ نائٹ سب راتوں رات انہوں نے کر دیا تو پھر میں نے کہا مسٹ بی سم تھنگ دین سوا دس بجے کے قریب کانگریس پریزیڈنٹ کا ٹیلی فون مجھے آیا کہ امرندر میں سمجھتی ہوں کہ آپ کو ریزائن کرنا چاہیے میں کہ شیورلی ٹیک مائی ریزیگنیشن اینڈ میں پانچ چار بجے جا کے میں نے ریزیگنیشن دے دیا آئی ہیو نو پرابلم آئی نیور آس دم نیور ایون ڈن ونس کہ مجھے کیوں آپ نے چینج کیا You have said uh, previously also that you believe Navjot Singh Sidhu will be bad for Punjab, it's a border state. And that is something I said before he came, because I've known Navjot Singh Sidhu since he was two years old. Okay. He's a Patiala boy. Mm-hmm. His father was our... Uh, uh, my, mo- my mother was incidentally Congress president of Patiala, mm-hmm. DCC president. In 1967, she came as MP here. And her general secretary, those days there was one general secretary, was uh, this fellow's so father. And he, he became president then, after she came. And he was the one who actually initiated me into the political world. Sidhu's father Sidhu's initiated father. you yeah, in, into the political absolutely. world. So when I came, and my parent, my mother said, yeah, I think and you should get involved. I said, how do I get involved? I'm a soldier. Mm-hmm. The difference between us is very simple. There are soldiers, uh, for instance, um, never, tell it, ne- never tell a lie. And I think the politician hardly tells the truth. So that's the difference, you know. So you've got to change your total concept and become something so, different so to what you used. Where did it change, Kaptan Sahib? Because you're saying Sidhu's father introduced you to politics. I think Sidhu, he studied in Apatyala school, which my father started, okay. He was an introvert, total introvert. And, and, and a boy with some sort of a complex, because he never spoke in school. Uh, when he went to cricket play, playing for Azir of Deen, in fact, yeah, when he was yeah, captain, yeah, he just walked off the pitch right. and, and disappeared. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, he's, he's, uh, he's, he's that way. Uh, day before yesterday, he had, a, or, or the day before that, came and concluded a, a meeting with the Congress president and next day sent her another letter demanding something more. Yeah, so yeah. the man's, man's uh, unstable. Okay. And I told this to Mrs. Gandhi before. I wrote her a letter, in fact, and I said, you are, this man is an unstable character and you can make him if you wish. But one day you'll regret it and it'll be too late by then. Okay. Because the elections will be on us. There's a lot of charcha in Punjab that uh, you're going to be meeting the Prime Minister soon. You might have a joint rally with him soon. Uh, is, that, is that necessarily true? All speculations. No, there's nothing like that. Of course, when, when, we, when the time comes, mm-hmm. once the party is formed and, we're, and the elections are close by, then we will certainly talk to the BJP about seat adjustments. But I put a, uh, a little um, uh, block on that in the sense that I've said that before we can do anything with the BJP, we must first, the BJP must, uh, the government must end this farmer agitation. So, so this that is, is the, the timeline as you see it, if it happens, that Pela if Kisan ka mudda jo hai, uska samasya hoga, uske baad you will have negotiations. Then there are Akali breakaway factions, or Mr. there's Mr. Dean Sa, there's his son who was finance minister, there's Mr. Brahman uh, Pura who was there, there's Mr. Chotepur who was there, there's Mr. Ravinder Singh there. There's so many Akali, senior Akalis who are not part of this current uh, mainstream Akali Dal. And they can all come together and come in uh, and uh, form Mr. their own. Sir, uh, they, they just said that if you have any truck with the BJP, he wants to have nothing to do with your alliance. No, 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 I think he's saying that only because... He knows that at the moment people are upset with the BJP on the farm issue. Mm-hmm. And, you, don't, you don't think the BJP will be a liability for you if, if you, you were to have some kind once, of... Once they resolve the issue, there is no problem. Unless they are able to uh, finish this uh, farmer agitation, mm-hmm. there is, there is a, a sort of a perceptible feeling which is uh, against them. Captain Amrinder Singh looking at uh, the option of forming his own party and then allying with smaller leaders, smaller parties and also those who are disgruntled, sidelined among some of the other political entities and saying that the BJP and the centre will have to consider doing something about the farm laws, addressing the concerns and assuaging the Punjab farmers. Otherwise, the sentiment against the BJP continues to remain negative. He's not ruled out a possible alliance or having any truck with the BJP, but he says it all hinges upon how the centre reacts to the farm laws. And he's 
also hinted at MSP as being a major point for concern. Arun Dhanta joining us live. Arun, clearly this interview and, and what Captain Amrinder Singh has told us here at CNN News 18 is, is going to send uh, a lot of uh, murmurs going around and rumor mills going through and also a buzz in the Punjab political circles. How are the various political parties going to react? He's clearly named certain leaders from the Akali Dal, certain leaders who he believes from the Congress who would break away to join him. So he is emerging as a fourth front or a fourth force now there. Well, that's right, Ananda. First of all, you know, in this exclusive interview with uh, CNN News 18, uh, Amrinder Singh, in fact, addressed all the issues, you know, starting from uh, uh, what led to his, uh, his quitting the chief ministerialship there in Punjab and subsequent tussle with, uh, with, with the other colleagues there in Punjab Congress and also what is his plans for future as he is going to launch his political outfit and what is going to be uh, the role which BJP is going to play. And he has also set the records very straight by saying that uh, uh, if the, the farmers' issues are not addressed, uh, he will stay away. But if those issues are at risk, then he's open to have that understanding with BJP. Now, we know the situation there is Punjab. BJP is not uh, in very good position there, especially after the breakup with the Shiv um, uh, Kali is there, and subsequently the protest of the farmers. That's something which uh, is, uh, you know, putting a lot of pressure on BJP. They have a very, very uh, small chunk in, in some ur urban areas of Punjab. Other than, other than that, it's going to be very difficult uh, for them to actually right. go on the ground. Uh, and especially when there is a protest on one side, you go to there and campaign, it's very difficult. They've already checked, few leaders had gone there and they had uh, witnessed huge protests. So Amrinder Singh also knows that he uh, has one agenda that he wants to, you know, uh, teach a lesson to the Congress party. And therefore, you know, both these, uh, both these Amrinder Singh and BJP, you know, could come together at a certain understanding because the goal of both of them are very much same. So we'll have to see as to how Amrinder Singh, you know, going to take his political outfit and how government is going to address his main concern, which is, of course, uh, the farmer's issue. True, but one of the aspects that he turns around and says that uh, he was asked by Sonia Gandhi to resign. He says, I'm not a horse that you're going to send me off to the pastures. But most importantly, he says, I've written to Sonia Gandhi and I know very well that it is Sidhu who's the problem and not the solution. He's once again called Navjot Singh Sidhu unstable uh, and, and that things uh, are going to now. Congress is in a tizzy because of Sidhu and not because of anything else. I have Sukhjinda Singh Randhawaji, the Deputy Chief Minister of Punjab with us. Uh, sir, Namaste. This is Anand Narasimhan here. Let me ask you this. No. Aap, uh, what would you like to say to Captain Amrinder Singh saying the problem is Sidhu and that he's unstable? देखिए उन्होंने जो कहा कि सिद्धू इज अनस्टेबल मैंने को ऐसा लग रहा कि जब से कैप्टन साहब को चीफ मिनिस्टर से उतारा गया है अनस्टेबल जे हो गए हैं ऐसा किसी को कहना अनस्टेबल कांग्रेस में वही स्टेबल है जो कांग्रेस के लिए लॉयल है और इन्होंने कहा कि मेरे रिलेशन के साथ अगर उनके रिलेशन के साथ थे तो इनको कभी ऐसी कांग्रेस के अगेंस्ट बात नहीं करनी चाहिए जो नाइन एंड हाफ ईयर पंजाब के चीफ मिनिस्टर रह गए और सेकेंड टाइम मैं पंजाब की हिस्ट्री में हुआ कि कभी कांग्रेस के किसी चीफ मिनिस्टर को सेकंड टाइम अपॉर्चुनिटी नहीं मिलती मैं जे मैं इनको अपॉर्चुनिटी मिली इनका टोटल टाइम जो टनोर है 98 से लेकर 2021 तक कोई 23 थ्री इयर्स बनता है और इनमें आउट ऑफ 23 इयर्स ही मेन लीडर ऑफ द कांग्रेस नाइन एंड ए हाफ ईयर ये वक वक जो हैं प्रेसिडेंट रहे दो बार प्रेसिडेंट बन के फिर लोकसभा में अपोजिशन के डेप्टी लीडर बन गए उसके बाद कंपेन कमेटी फिर प्रेसिडेंट फिर प्रेसिडेंट तो इनको ऐसी बातें करने का कोई भी राइट नहीं है इनकी आदत है कि इन्होंने पहले 97 में इन्होंने कांग्रेस ज्वाइन की थी 80 में इन्होंने कांग्रेस एमपी बन गए 84 में रिजाइन करके फिर अकाली दल बादल में चले गए फिर इन्होंने अकाली दल बादल में जाकर इनके लिए डोर्स बंद कर दिए इनको 90 वहाँ एट एट 1977 में इन्होंने कांग्रेस ज्वाइन की थी जैनी जेल सिंह उस टाइम चीफ मिनिस्टर थे पंजाब के और 97 में इन्होंने फिर दोबारा 
आप ये कह रहे हैं कि उनको ये बात नहीं करनी चाहिए पर सुखदिंदर जी मैं मैं आपसे जानना चाहूंगा कि कैप्टन अमरिंदर सिंह के अलग अपनी पार्टी बनाने की उन्होंने मंशा जाहिर की है उन्होंने कहा है कि कई लोग हैं अलग अलग पार्टियों से जो उनके साथ जुड़ेंगे छोटी मोटी पार्टियों के साथ वो साझा करेंगे तो इससे पंजाब जो आने वाले चुनाव है उस पर क्या फर्क पड़ेगा नहीं मेरी बात सुनिए इनको एक महीने पहले चीफ मिनिस्टर शिप से उतारा है तो कुछ सोच समझ कर हमने किया है कि ये जे अब कांग्रेस के लिए लाइबिलिटी बन गए थे दो साल इन्होंने ये कोरोना का देख करके कोरोना है कोरोना ये किसी को मिले नहीं इवन जो ऑफिशियल हाउस था रेड उसको छोड़कर भी चले गए इन्होंने कभी किसी से मिलना मुनासिब ही नहीं समझा और कैबिनेट को कैबिनेट को दूर के बाद इन्होंने कभी किसी मिनिस्टर के साथ मीटिंग करने भी मुनासिब नहीं समझी तो मेरे को इनका पता सबसे पुराना मैं ही इनका साथी हूँ इनका इनके साथ रहे हैं तो मेरे को पता है कितनी कैपेसिटी इनकी काम करने की इनको तो बनी बनाई खीर चाहिए वो खा लेते हैं आप, आप बनाकर नहीं खा सकते तो आप ये कह रहे हैं कि ये कांग्रेस के लिए लाइबिलिटी हो गए थे और ये अब खुद अपनी पार्टी जो है ये खड़ी नहीं कर सकेंगे आपको कह रहे हैं ये बनी बनाई चीज इनको चाहिए लेकिन ये खुद नहीं कर पाएंगे तो आपको लगता है कि ये कोई फैक्टर होंगे चुनाव में किसी के लिए या कांग्रेस के लिए ट्रबल पहले तो इनका देखिए ये कहते हैं कि जो कांग्रेस के लीडर्स है वो ही देख लेना की कौन इनके साथ जाएगा पहले फिर बाद में बात करेंगे जो पार्टी बढ़ाएंगे ये बीजेपी की बात कर रहे हैं बीजेपी बीजेपी के लिए अभी जेल लाइबिलिटी बढ़ेंगे वो भी नहीं इनको लेंगे पर पर आपको लगता है कि अकाली दल में से कांग्रेस में से कुछ लोग होंगे जो अलग होके इनके साथ जाएंगे चुनाव में तो ये कॉम्बिनेशन की भी बात होती है ना थोड़े थोड़े इधर उधर से भी हो गए तो फिर किसी का खेल बन जाता है किसी का बिगड़ जाता है पर कहीं आपको लगता है की कोई फैक्टर होंगे मैं एक बात आपको बता दू की कांग्रेस के जो वर्कर से वर्कर्स थे उनको उनके जी इंसल्ट करते रहे हैं उनको मिले कभी नहीं उनके साथ कभी इंटरेक्शन नहीं की कांग्रेस का तो कोई नहीं जाएगा अकाली दल का मेरे को पता नहीं क्योंकि वो पहले भी आज भी हैं और बीजेपी और अकाली दल ये पता नहीं क्या करते हैं जी क्या करेंगे वो नहीं मेरे को पता जी इन्होंने चरण जी चन्नी की तारीफ की कही कि अच्छा लड़का है लेकिन इसके बाद समय कम है लेकिन इनकी तकलीफ जो है नवजोत सिंह सिद्धू से उनका कहना है कि सिद्धू जो है कांग्रेस का खेल खराब करेंगे सिद्धू है कांग्रेस को बनाएंगे नहीं बात को नहीं फेर, फेर क्या, अगर इनको इतनी इतना ही कांग्रेस का है प्यार तो ये क्यों कह रहे हैं कि मैं बीजेपी में जाऊंगा की आकर काम करें कांग्रेस में उन्होंने कहा कि मुझे कांग्रेस से जाने को कहा गया तो मैं कांग्रेस में क्यूँ रहा मैं कोई घोड़ा थोड़ी हूँ आप मुझे घास झरने के लिए मैदानों में छोड़ दोगे उन्होंने ये बात कही तो इतनी 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 देर घास खाई है तो अब क्या है अब सूखी घास भी खानी चाहिए पार्टी के लिए पर इतनी, पर, इतनी पर देर आप, आप 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 इतनी देर पिज्जा खा रहे हैं तो घास भी तो खानी पड़ेगी जो पिज्जा खा खाता रहे पर वो कह रहे हैं कि कांग्रेस ने कहा सोनिया गांधी ने ही उन्हें कहा रिजाइन करने के लिए तो उन्होंने छोड़ दिया कांग्रेस अब वो अब वो आ, एक्टिव हैं वो अभी रिटायर नहीं होना चाहते करना चाहते कहा था उसको सुनिए उनको चीफ छोड़ने के लिए कहा पार्टी छोड़ने के लिए तो नहीं कहा पर पर आपके हिसाब से उनका जो ओपिनियन है नवजोत सिद्धू के बारे में वो सही है कि गलत है सुखजिंदर जी देखिए 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 इनकी आप ट्विस्ट हो रही है इनके मनी लॉन्ड्रिंग इनके बेटे के केस इनकी वाइफ के केस इनके केस तो क्या क्या केस है वो उनको डर उन, उन केसेस से डर रहे हैं तो ऐसी कोई बात नहीं है पंजाब पर... के लोगों के साथ उन्होंने सलूक किया है साढ़े चार साल कहीं गए नहीं आप इनका आकर देखिए कि चार साल कहाँ रहे हैं अभी पंजाब में गए पूरे साढ़े चार साल में मेरे ख्याल तीन बार पंजाब में गए होंगे जी पहले तो, तो इनको तो, कभी दिल्ली दिल्ली का रास्ता नहीं दिखा आप एक महीने में चार बार चलेगी पर पर पिछले जब कांग्रेस को वापस लाने वाले भी कैप्टन अमरिंदर सिंह थे लेकिन आपको लगता है की अब वो फोर्स नहीं है पंजाब में उनकी उनका टाइम खत्म हो गया उस टाइम उस टाइम हमने कहा था कि इनको लेकर आइए तो हम पे सबसे पहले मैं हम इनके साथ आप पुरानी फोटोग्राफ्स देखिए फोन में हम सभी खड़े होकर इनके साथ थे और हैं तो ऐसी तो कोई बात ही नहीं है ठीक है नहीं तो हमने इनको कहा था कि आप आइए सबसे बड़ी बात है की इन्होंने जब कसम खाई थी सेक्टर पर 
वो कहाँ गई कसम वो कहाँ चलेगी मैं इनके साथ खड़ा था हमने कहा झूठी कसम खाकर आए हैं खालसा पंथ हमें नहीं छोड़ेगा जी तो वादे किए वो तो हमें पूरे करने पड़ेंगे तो उनके साथ हमने कमिटमेंट किए हैं वो तो लोगों में लेकर जाएंगे कहाँ गया सेकेंडरी कहाँ गया कोर्ट पूरा कहाँ गया पीपी है कहाँ गए ड्रग्स के इशू एक भी इन्होंने सॉल्व किया क्यों वहाँ सील्ड कवर में लफाफे पड़े रहे जी तो मेरा आखिरी सवाल आपसे यही है कि कैप्टन अब एक फोर्स है कि स्पेंट हो गए हैं फिनिश हो गए हैं अब पंजाब में देखिए देखिए ये ये लाइबिलिटी बन गए थे अब पहले इन्होंने एक पार्टी बनाई थी मेरे ख्याल पता नहीं कब बनाई थी जब नाइनटी सेवन में पता नहीं कब कब बनी थी और सैम इनकी जमानत जब तो हो गई थी इन्होंने आदमी जितने भी खड़े किए कोई भी जीत नहीं पाया दो 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 हजार तीन तीन हजार वोट लेकर ले गए थे तो आज कौन सी बात हो रही है आप तो लोगों ने लोगों के साथ इन्होंने मजाक किया उनको समझा ही नहीं कि मैं पंजाब का चीफ मिनिस्टर हूँ जी आज कैद के लिए आए थे चार साल इन्होंने खूब एक्ट किया अब चले गए इनको चाहिए कि जो पंजाब का राज करके गए हैं आप पश्चाता आप ये करें बैठकर इनको पास करना चाहिए सुखजिंदर रंधावा जी हमसे बात करने के लिए बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद नमस्ते So that was Sukhjinder Singh Randhawa, the Deputy Chief Minister of Punjab, who says that it was Captain, it is Captain Amrinder Singh who had become a liability, and he said, "Four years old, eating pizza, so some days he was eating pizza. Congress party for it, so what would happen?" That was his response to Captain Amrinder Singh saying that I'm not a horse that would be let out into the pastures. We're going to take a short break here on the Nation at Five. Stay with us.